Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am using a few of the products that I got in the BoxyCharm this month. I will leave a card up above so that you guys can check out the unboxing if you want to look at that first. So in this month's box, we got a Winky Lux kitten palette and everyone said they wanted a tutorial. Well, a lot of people did because it is such a pretty palette. This is the look that I created with the palette. I also wanted to use the lipstick that came in the box this month and mine is in the color Storm, so I'm wearing it right now. Am I the biggest fan of it? Not necessarily. It's not like super, super pigmented. I feel like this is meant to be worn as like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like if you put it on and kind of blend, blur out the edges, you know what I mean? Like that avant-garde kind of look. It's hard to get like a sharp line and make it all exactly the same opacity. I like it. It feels nice on the lips, but it's not my favorite lipstick and I probably won't reach for it all that often. And I did use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. What I noticed with that is it leaves like micro shimmers on your face. So I don't know how I feel about that yet because I don't really want my whole face to be shimmering. I kind of just want my highlighting spots to be shimmering so in the future kind of just spray this on the highlighted areas so yeah that's pretty much it if you want to see how i got this eye look then please keep on watching all right so for my eyeshadow base i'm using the makeup forever flash palette and i'm taking that sort of rosy color and i'm first placing this on my lid in the desired shape and then i'm going to take a blending dual fiber brush and blend out all of the edges. Once I have it all blended out, I'm going to set it with a loose powder. And now I'm going into the Winky Lux Kitten Palette that I was talking about before. And first I'm taking the shade Strut and I am placing this all in my upper crease area as my transition shade. Next, taking the shade Duchess and just going over the brow bone area to make sure that's nice and diffused. And now I'm taking the shade Cheshire and placing this in my crease and on the outer V of my eye. Next, taking the shade Boots and placing this on the outer V of my eye to really darken that up. And then I'm going to be cutting half of my crease with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then once I have the desired shape, I'm going to kind of blend that concealer into my skin. And then I'm going to pick up the blending brush and kind of go over the transition there. And now I'm taking the shade Romeo and placing that right there, you know. <laughs> Next I'm taking the shade Holographic and I'm placing this all over the front half of my eyelid. And I'm obsessed with this color. Then I'm taking the Ico Black Magic Liquid Liner and winging it out. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Artist Liner in I-22, placing this in my waterline and along my lower lash line, 
and then I'm going to smudge that out. And then over top, I'm going to place nine lives on the outer half of the lower lash line. Then for the inner corner of the eye, I'm taking Purr. Then I'm taking more of Holographic and placing that on the inner third of my lower lash line. Then taking my blending brushes and blending out the lower lash line. Then to complete the look, I am placing Sweetheart Lashes Charlotte Lashes. And this is the finished look. All right, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you think you want to sign up for BoxyCharm because of the products that I used in this video, then you could totally click the link in my description box below. It is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small commission off of your sale, but is a really great deal for BoxyCharm. This month's box was a $120 value and you get it for $21 on. Uh, anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.